Okay, let me start with a nice cartoon from Tanasis. A short uh, introduction into how RNAi can be used to control insect pests. So as we've heard, RNAi is a natural mechanism. Also in insects, it's involved in um, the antiviral response, so an important part of the innate immune response. And we can exploit uh, this mechanism in insects um, by targeting, for example, essential genes, we can cause toxicity and uh, mortality in insects. So the second challenge, um, which is also a little bit linked to the first one, is the RNA delivery. I want to clear up a misconception that biosafety might represent a burden to development of uh, new technologies or products. Indeed, uh, what uh, I and, and the working group of iPlant are working on this aspect, uh, we are considering uh, environmental safety framework in the sense that for uh, environmental safety framework, we need protocols, uh, scientifically developed protocols, which can become practices and hopefully policies. All this framework is to ensure that uh, there is a safety and a well-being of any organisms, including humans. So I think to conclude, I think we can say that bioinformatics is definitely super useful for DSRNA design. Um, it will help us to, to kind of minimize potential um, non-target gene silencing as much as possible. However, at the moment, I think it's unlikely to be very useful in risk assessment, especially thinking of using bioinformatics uh, to kind of replace some of the tox testing. Medberry in, involves uh, five countries. So um, uh, Italy, France, Spain, Morocco, and Turkey. Of course, uh, they are uh, in the Mediterranean basin. That's the way to go towards a green deal and not a green dream.